you know, lately, I've been thinking, um, why do artists, um, especially beginner artists, want to find their own style so badly these days? And um, I've been going through YouTube and the grapevine and looking up videos on from artists or, you know, art YouTubers, um, making videos on how to find your style, how to develop it, and um, just the broad topic of, you know, that type of stuff. And um, I've been hearing and seeing people say that your art style is sort of like your fingerprint or your signature, um, that it just comes naturally. And um, I do believe that to an extent that, yeah, it does come naturally. But um, I've been reading um, some certain manga and noticing uh, an obvious inspiration from those artists. And um, I won't say any names because um, the list will go on forever. But I, I wonder, like, alternatively, I do believe that you could sort of manufacture your style, if that makes any sense. Meaning that through, um, like, training yourself to, like, I guess, through mimicry, that you could sort of adopt uh, someone else's style. And it's sort of becomes the case mainly with anime because for comics i guess yeah too for, also for comics there's a sort of um similarity that could be found through the majority of comic book art styles and i guess yeah you can also yeah it's the same with anime too and for people that have drawn in the quote-unquote anime art style um, i'm pretty sure that they've dealt with the criticism of why do they draw an anime art style and um, i think for me personally with that like you know comment is that usually this not no this not i'm not gonna say this is true this is just what i found by going through art school two art schools um that people that draw in the anime art style usually use that as a crutch to avoid um the technical principles and learning how to draw or i guess the fundamentals um, i find that they're they are the ones that love to use the phrase like say if they're being given a comment or critique in terms of like anatomy or perspective or so and so or whatever i feel like they are the ones to use the it's not it's just my style you know that comment saying like it's not that it's wrong it's just that that's just how i draw that statement is right and wrong i would say or not right or wrong that's a better way to say um there's a extent in which someone can use that phrase and when is it really just your style and i feel like once again when you're if you're copying styles are you really knowing i guess um it's sort of running on autopilot, I guess. Like, you don't have to learn the fundamentals if you could k completely mimic someone's style to per perfection, I guess. Alternatively, if you m make your own style, which I don't think a style could be made anymore. Like, there's over 7.2 billion people on this planet. Good luck finding something that's completely unique to you. Um, and besides, I think when most people, or most artists, when they are making or when they're getting up to do art like as they are continuing to draw and paint i think all that is they're just getting inspired by the things they see which is um you know pre-existing stuff so can you really say that you're original even after all that so it's a it's a tricky question like i people say styles are um natural but styles are made from your inf influences right and those influences are already pre-made so yeah it's sort of the quandary that i'm having but back to my original question why do artists want to find their own style so badly these days um again there's a huge market for it again look up on youtube anywhere google anywhere you're gonna find people asking how to find arts or how to get your own art style and I think the reason for it, one of the reasons, in my opinion, is that there's a there's a longing for individualism when it comes to making art. Um, I don't know about you guys or anyone else, but when for me, 
what I inspire, what I long for when being an artist is to have someone look at my art and say, oh, um, this guy did it, right? Like, they know without a doubt that just by looking at, I guess, the strokes, the line work, the proportions, anything that they know without a doubt that it's me due to how unique it is compared to other artists. And I guess you could um, technically say that for many famous artists in history. I'm pretty sure. Well, I, again, I, I came from art school, so I had to study this stuff to hell and back. But there are certain artists, like especially people from the Renaissance, that once you see their painting or their art style, you know without a doubt that that's them. And I guess you could extend that through um, to current anime artists or even just, you know, to keep it more like casual digital artists that mainly are on Instagram. I could go through people like Sam Does Art. I could go through people like Krishna Vilio or Goo Eyes, those people, or even Wallop, Saki Michan. Come on. Who, 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 anyone could notice their art style from a mile away. Alternatively, I, I believe that those artists definitely went a ways, went through a, an arduous journey to get their style. Um, I mean, they'd have to like look at the work that they do. It's it's next level. Now, not to say that I'm an expert or anything, but well, I'm definitely not because I'm still like in the quandary of. If, did I find my own style? I feel like I'm still in a gray zone. Like I'm still like even with the painting that I'm painting now. Like what are the components of my style? Like the strokes that I'm making. Like these random abstract marks, the colors. Like all that is something that I believe makes up my style. A lot of people could honestly easily see that. Ishida Sui is one of my inspirations. Everyone says it in the YouTube comments that um, see my artwork. And yes, he is one aspect of like inspiration when it comes to my art style. But I, don't, I would hate for me to just be the quote unquote copy. And that's another thing. I don't think artists necessarily, well, I don't know. I recently saw. And again, another artist that prided themselves of in drawing or painting exactly like another artist. And um, I guess that's fine, honestly. That is honestly fine. Like, art is however you, whatever you want it to be, I guess. Art is um, your way of own self expression. So I don't think there's a necessarily right or wrong way in how you want to express yourself, right? So I don't know, for me, I feel like most artists want that individual individualistic aspect to it to be unique um i also believe that another reason why artists want to find their own art styles because um it's how they perceive or how they want to convey their own reality in a sense because um again have two people do a photo study or try to mimic one photo it's not going to come out the same and again that's also a part of the beauty of art styles no two people perceive reality the same way or at least how in terms of drawing again how that, these are technically photo studies that i'm doing but i would say that if another person did the photo study that i'm doing right now they're pro it's probably not going to look like how i'm doing it right now to be fair because again when i'm painting digitally i try to have a more traditional messy oil painting style because originally I was an oil painter and um, I tried to bring that feeling or that vibe to digital art. So I guess that is another aspect. Um, they want to convey or, or show how they perceive their own reality onto the page and show to their viewers. And of course, the best case scenario is that people love it, honestly. Um, and I guess even so, even the more experienced artists are still on their journey on refining their own art style. Because um, this journey, I would say, has no end. You are, if you're an artist, you are on this journey for the long run. And um, don't think for even a second that even after years of doing art, you're going to be satisfied. So 
uh, uh, this is a disclaimer for any beginner artist. Um, to be fair, I don't consider myself in the game too long. Um, I think I'm still relatively young compared to the other, other artists that are like 40, 50 plus. And I guess that's another thing to consider. Um, just to take your time. Like, this is not a race. Um, that's definitely another video that I need to do. Like, like the time in which artists want to get successful and why they want to get successful so quickly. Like, it's like a rat race too. Um, because to be fair, true, the art, like, sphere and like getting into the art, like, industry things like that or even being freelance it is a heavily saturated field um it's it's hard to break into especially with the geniuses out there but you know again that's another video for another time but um yeah i hope you guys like this video of me talking and you know just this um topic of why do artists want to find their own style because it's been in my head for a while like i really wanted to just express this and of course this video was not scripted so i'm sorry if i'm sound like i'm rambling or i'm stumbling um i'm not i'm not writing a script for this video i'm sorry it's 2 30 in the morning so sorry if i also sound very groggy but um what can you do this is the only time where like no one's making crazy noises outside my room so yeah um like the video if you want um comment comment if you are still finding your own style or your own inspirations for your own style comment um if my style is also something you like to see more because i want to upload more art videos so um, yeah thank you so much for watching again also my instagram social media whatever is are in the description follow them if you want my patreon is in the description you could don't have to support honestly um i'm still in production with that I have the Twitch, I have Twitch, um, yeah, all, they're all in the description below. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.